then that's the way you get the bubbles and roughness out of your sound is by slowing down. But your mind is in the sound. Da 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 And what happens to you as a result of that is always good. If the results are something happens to you, your fingers go up and down, if you do this and that and the other thing. But if you make causes out of the note, trying to make causes for the notes by pushing your valves down or by doing a certain muscular thing, then you're on the wrong side of the fence. Does everybody follow that? All right. Okay, it's yours. <laughs> gradually crescendo and everything, and I will not put the and then taper it back, you know, because sometimes there's funny things happen with that. So what we do is we just take it, and turn it right now, and we'll just take it straight out.
see anything happen. It's just you're, there's no emotional feeling about those notes at all. It's just da da da, isn't it? Right. So we're not gonna make anything happen. All right, let's do it. trigger any physical response to register. <coughs> right? Just because it's high doesn't mean it's going to be looser than it is when it's, I mean, just because we're going to the low register doesn't mean it's going to be looser than it is when we're playing in a high register or the middle register. We're trying to bring everything down into focus into one situation. So in order to keep the sensation of steadiness, we, we crescendo to go to the low register. And, this, and it also helps to keep the position the same. In other words, the, we play with only one embouchure, and that's just the same set for every doggone thing we have. I have a certain number of people at times who should be working on pedal tones, and then it seems you go for a cycle for a while, and then the pedal tones are, are not very not very, uh, not very very helpful. So I don't think I have, well, like except in my maybe three students right now that I would recommend pedal tones for. But there again, that same thing, that same blow through the same position, and the whole thing is we use when we play the pedal tone. In order to get the thing set up, you might play the, you might play the G and the G, and the actually the pedal B the pedal C is a kind of a off note and as we are short uh, some distance to play the correct pedal C on a silly trumpet so if you're better off not to even bother with the C and the B and the B flat for a while until you get the start of the pedal G. to 
respond. And, you, and But the response has to be the same. You don't change the breathing. You still have the acceleration of the sound until that thing starts to, to, to come along. You still keep the feeling of the blow through and the like of that. You don't let your lips be too loose. You know, I mean, you don't let them, you still have to have direction in the sound that they're getting. And the fingering for the pedal notes, the pedal notes are those same fingers that we play in the high register of the trumpet. Sometimes just telling me reading books that reference the pedal notes helping the high notes, the well, extreme high range. What is, what's your opinion on that? Well, the the feeling there is that if they can, if you can keep the looseness that you play in the pedal notes in the upstairs, sure enough, you bet. Yeah, but it's, it's the looseness that we're, they're trying to get after. See. Yes. Yeah, but that position has to be. And and you play play pedal notes. So let's hear it, Coach G. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they'll they'll do they'll they'll help to to, to relax the center of your face a little bit. And once again, the best idea is keep the sound in the mind and the ear going through to. Oh yeah, to that's not, always that. Not it's trying to make them. That's right. That's right. You don't. That's don't try to make it because you're in trouble if you do. All right. And then then we then we do those and we take them up, you know, alike. And then of course the next exercise is where we combine the the two of them. Da 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 da. And there's a gradual gradual crescendo on that, or you have the follow through so that you never feel that you're that you're that you're reaching for a low note or reaching for a high note that you are playing through. The sound, and but your mind is in the sound. You think da 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 da. There's no more tension for, you know. So we play through that, but you're playing through it, and you and your your bellows is going to collapse again. You feel the resistance of the instrument, which sets up your compression, and you keep the compression level, and then you play through that, but it never gets stronger. start to walk across the, the field, then they're always, the whole, one lines up right after another. Well, if you can imagine, the notes are the same one. One is following the, the next note out. Da -de -da 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 -da. Uh, not, you know, not jumping around or anything. You're just following it right out there. All right? There we go. <laughs>
of uh, register. <clears throat> How many of you got to see a little bit of the Las Vegas show last night? Did anybody see Chuck Mangione? Yeah. All right. Well, of course, if you were if you were looking at all the fancy dancing that was going around, that you probably didn't pay much attention to him. But did you notice how steady and how quiet and relaxed and loose the whole doggone thing was? Things are coming straight across the board. Of course, if you're... Now, that's one other thing I would do if I were you. Know, I'd take Playboy magazine into the practice room or something like that when you can't concentrate on the music, then open up the page and then look at that for just a second or two. And, or anything, or fishing, or, you know, or anything that you've got to do to get your, head, get your head out of what you're doing and then get relaxed. And then when you come back, boy, make sure your concentration level is strong on what you're doing, not how the heck you're going to do it. And the position and stuff, I'll try to set that all up for you so you'll never have any trouble with that. All right. <laughs>
exercise restart, and that's the first time we introduced the pronunciation of, of, of notes through time. And so what we do is we pronounce these notes now. We don't, we're not going to say that we're going to tongue these notes. We're going to pronounce these notes. And it's through the pronunciation that the natural thing happens to you. You say to or do or da or whatever the syllable is. And in order to say that, your tongue has to do something, right? So you never think of going, but you're making the tongue do that because that's ridiculous. You make your, you, you think of the sound that you want and you pronounce that sound mentally. And that's what, pronounce, that's what affects the, makes the tongue operate. Now when you get to the point where your tongue is so loose that you can pronounce it like the fat Italian lady says, oh boy, you behave yourself for a kid or I'm gonna pet you, you know. Why? Then all these things happen <clears throat> because of a result of a thought. So make sure your <clears throat> concentration is so strong that you're that you're on pronunciation that you don't even know you have a tongue. And not only will it speed it up, it'll give it more clarity, it'll give it different definition, and the <clears throat> intonation will be cured by a lot of those things. And one other thing, you have to be always singing the most beautiful sound you can possibly imagine at all times. And you know the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. You have to think those beautiful things. Yeah. And here again is that same gradual Thank you.